wish he were here to take it back. We, I beat his high score. How high was his high score? It couldn't have been that big. I wasn't doing that well. These were sent scattering. Someone thrown into them? Ripped. Did this happen yesterday, or was it always like that? How many more clues are there? We didn't go any for go for the pool keels, keels, which would have been a good, you know, a good weapon. It's a random hat right there. What else am I looking for here? Had the clock we'll game. This clock off the filler. It seems there was a fight. It could explain the blood on my shirt. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. It might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night. How much more evidence do we want, game? Jesus Christ. Joel's hat. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. Hey, which one's Joel? DG. Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? The flowers are ruined. Looks like they were knocked over, then stepped on. The pot was completely shattered. Looked like it might have been kicked. Could be the same blood that was on my shirt. Is he more behind the bar? Not that I'm seeing. Else is there? No, oh, wait. Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. Is that just statement? Hugh Kirkland, pharmacist, Bethel Pharmacy. Drink plenty of water, get great for headache. Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. What a mess. Hope this wasn't me. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Have you? Just gotta think it through. Mine Palace we go. At least I can always count on this place to make sense. Can you? Now to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, find out what really happened. This makes sense to you, huh? My memory ends here, but there's two glasses. Who was here with me? I was drinking on my own, and someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight. Obviously. I 
How'd you get into a fight without Ethan knowing? Ethan would have known first, wouldn't he? How the fight he, went. He, he has to close up. Box on the stage, at the bar on the stage. Looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. Towards Broken the glass, entrance. Damaged seat. It's possible the fight made its way over here. That could be it, but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. The jukebox is not in the same place. Maybe it was involved in the fight somehow. No, I say the stage is like more likely. Not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. Which one's the Joel? Joel's cap. Maybe he provoked me again after I'd had a few. Seem accurate. Oh no, because that didn't fall over. It's got. It's just. It's just got. No, it's not right. That can't be right. It doesn't match the damage done to the room. Well, how do you know how things would have gone with Joel? That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. Punch, push. Still knock over that though. That can't be right. It doesn't match the damage done to the room. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. I have the complete picture now. Oh, do I? You know, the man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. And who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch who... about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. But not here. Sam. Meet me later at Sam. the... No, oh, is, is, is it... What's his name? Elliot? Ethan? Ethan is coming back into Ethan. the front. At least I... Th think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, tell him you're here to apologize about last night. You trashed up his bar and then broke in. I don't have time to lose explaining myself to Ethan. Yeah, the broken part wouldn't be wouldn't be uh, great for clearing up. Though I want to know how did he not know? Cause he would have had to close up, but he wouldn't close up with people still in the bar, right? Doesn't add up at all. So where are we up to now, game? Huh?
course. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone. No answer. So what now? There's that coffee date with Anna. Anna might have to wait. I want to see if anyone has seen Dennis first. I don't know. I'll play it by ear. Just remember she's expecting you. She's extending the olive branch. Don't drop it. Are you my conscience? Is that who you are? I still have time before meeting Anna. Might as well ask if anyone saw Dennis. There's a drugstore. The perfect toy for a kid who only had imaginary friends. Now, I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you had to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. That I am. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. Huh. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. But he's outside. I guess I got the loitering, not trespassing, it's though. Polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig or fascist just for doing your job. Then they go and do things like deface the whole town. And I'm the asshole? It could get under your skin. Where's... where's you at day after day? It grinds you down. It makes you feel like you've been lifting logs all day. Yeah, sorry about that. I went off for a spell. Lenny, you have a chance to vent it out. It's good, okay? It's good for you. respect the things you do. Trust me, I know. I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. Traffic during the Miners Day celebration. Or oh, is the party going on? Party parade, whatever you want to call it. At least the basswood jungle is still standing. Did you say 9.30 or 10.30 for the meeting? What? Hey, Joan. All Of all things I've lost, I miss my mind. The most. Now doesn't seem like the best time to bother her. Doing okay, Joan? Hey, Bug. What are you doing out here? Hey, Millie. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Pterodactyl. Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. Except for, you know, your dad maybe being murdered. Um, any word on my dad? Did you really look into it? I haven't found anything yet, I don't think. Let me know if you find anything, please. I feel like I need something. It's just this town, you know? This place, it feels like I'm suffocating. I Common theme breathe. for small towns. I can't think. I can't stand my mom. I don't like school, well, except for science, and just, 
When I imagine myself in the future, I just don't, I don't know. I don't see this place or these people. I'm somewhere else, anywhere else. I, just want to die I know it's stupid, else. just. It's not stupid. If you want, Sorry, you can just go thinking anywhere about, in the world. Just thinking about uh, adventures, night in the woods. In I mean, that's what I've been told anyway. Gross. Okay, well, that other stuff sounds okay, though. Thanks for listening. I got grown-up stuff I gotta do. I've got kid stuff I gotta see about. So, we're both busy. It's tough seeing her like this. Seems she got older by six years and just two. A statue honoring minors. Pretty meaningless now. Little bit. Oh, hey, you're Anna's dad, right? Seemed like the end of him, but he bounced back. And he's a rock. Oh, he still has. Well, I mean, he still has has them. Might not be able to use them, but he still has them. Honor open since the close 2015. Paid for by the donations of William of William Jackson, Walter Dotson, Hugh Kirkland, Robert Paulson, Vivica Wilkinot, and the Ethan Morrow. Wait, is that not me? Oh no, that's the dude that runs the bar. John Brooks and Nick and Nick Waldron. Two hundred eighty thousand men that marched through Boone County to reach Belair Mountain in nineteen twenty one, where they fought for what has been nothing worth having. Not, wait, we have now nothing worth having is is not worth fighting for. Religion's kind of like genetics. If your parents had it, you probably do too. Hey, can I ask you something? Hello, young man. Of course you can ask. No promise answered. Why Fair enough, I suppose. Memorial. Has to look its best for today, especially the minor. Oh, the lip sync is not great. <laughs> Good thing Mr. Kirkland decided to help out, and besides, that way people can remember the pride we used to be rednecks. Kirkland, as in the people that you. own Kroger, it should matter. <laughs> not Kroger, uh, Virginia. Costco. And why do you think it should matter so much? How many West Virginians does it take to screw in a light bulb? Hopefully this just one. Sound like a history lesson. You answer my question, I'll answer yours. So, how many West Virginians? Two. One to hold the light bulb, the other to rotate the planet. <laughs> Not bad. The one I have in store is three. Now, what do you one got for to me then? The light bulb, two to complain about how the old one was better. Yeah, it's a good one. I'll give you that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, just not the kind of funny you laugh at. So, you still want to hear the story? Might as well, yeah. I'm all ears. This fella here is a reminder of when coal miners stood together. You see, back a hundred years ago, he'd be safer in the trenches than down in the mines. He didn't sit right with our boys. They demanded better conditions. They didn't get them, though. Operations being what they are refused and sent strike breakers. The mine wars.